Last weekend, the Globe staff traveled to New York City to attend the Intercollegiate Broadcasting System, or IBS, conference and awards ceremony. During the days, industry professionals hosted seminars, offering a learning opportunity for students. Conferences were great, very informative. It's always good to get to these conferences, and it seems cliche, but networking is a big part of it. There were some conferences and schedules and things like that that were actually just meetups, and it was just kind of hangout sessions to get to know some other people from the other universities and colleges, and I thought that was very, very cool. I think, personally, the sessions were very, how could I say, I mean, I took a lot of notes. I have a whole, like, three pages, two pages of notes, and I think they've helped me because, I mean, I'm very new to this. I'm very new to the, you know, broadcasting side of everything, and going to all those sessions for sure brought a lot of learning experiences. As well as attending the IBS conference, Globehouse headed out into the Big Apple to enjoy the city. Yeah, I mean, getting out in the city was fantastic, you know, just getting out there and enjoying the New York City nightlife a little bit. We went to Koreatown, tried some crazy foods, uh, things I'd never tried before. And I think that's some of the beauty about going out in New York City is doing something you've never done before. Like you say, the big apple going down Times Square, you know, seeing the big old like lights, everything. The food for sure was great. The weekend culminated in the IBS awards ceremony, where Goshen College was nominated for 23 awards. I'm just so proud of everyone. I think it's just an accomplishment to be nominated. I mean, thousands of people apply for these awards and it just shows the grit, the determination that we have to be the best and to give the best content to our community, to our listeners. I'm real emotional because I'm so proud of our staff. You know, we work hard. A lot of times people can, can take for granted our success. The real thing about it is, you know, I know, we know how hard we work and it's great to be recognized by our peers here in New York City, Times Square, for our broadcasting excellence, and I'm excited for tonight. A large range of emotions were evident as the Globe staff waited for the award ceremony to start. It's been crazy. It's been a whirlwind of emotions. Uh, New York is a heck of a town, uh, but uh, this is what we're here for, so uh, see if we can bring home some hardware. I feel, I feel good. I feel happy. I've been here before, and I know that the Globe is going to put on a great showing, so I'm really confident as well. Confident in the globe, confident in what we do, and I'm, I'm confident that we're going to move forward and have a fantastic year, no matter what happens here at the awards tonight. Globe Media had a great showing, taking home four awards. The Globe staff won Best Social Media Account. Dante Stanton won Best Political News Coverage. Amelia Lee won Best News Report. And finally, Amelia Lee, Alyssa McDonald, and Colin Eccles won Best Morning Show. The Globe spent the rest of the evening celebrating another successful contest season. For Globe News, I'm Seth Smith-Kaufman.